By the way, John Stewart has gone to the dark side. Huh? I used to think he was cool. John Stewart has a show on Apple TV, and he brought up gender and what is a woman and was it transgender child care, something like that. And I feel like he's just gone too far. I don't believe, and I never want kids, and I don't even like kids, but I don't believe it's healthy to be pushed this ideology onto. I'm, I said that wrong. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I thought I would explain it. I think about it this way. So I don't think children should be able to transition. I believe if a child can't drink and they can't drive, then they shouldn't be able to decide to take medications and change their whole fucking body so that when they grow up, they're gonna, they're not going to be healthily fully formed. Yeah. Also, children don't really have a very good grasp on reality, you know? That's why a lot of children um, have active imaginations. To okay. allow that to go on in the country and normalize it, it's fucked up because you're changing the child's entire body chemistry. The question I always have for these people is, if you never heard about transgender, no one ever spoke to you about it, or even LGBT, lesbians, gays, and all that stuff, yeah. would you still know that you were? No, children can't fucking answer this question. They can't. No. I can answer it in my adulthood. Yeah. Before I ever knew what the fuck gay was, I was checking out my babysitter. Hmm. I didn't know what trans was either. But I'll tell you one thing. If I was in elementary school and they started spouting off this bullshit about trans and shit, I would really start thinking about it. And I would probably, in my confusion, try to be a boy. I, I've said I'm it before, too. I'm pretty fucking too. sure I would have tried to be trans. Especially if it would get me friends. Up. Uh. I you had know? I had the specific occurrence of a girl I liked who liked me back telling me to my face, well, if you were a boy, then I'd be okay. But we're both Christian. I know my mom would hate me for it. Mm. And so I That's know, I know my young 14, 13 year old self would have been like, I should be a boy. I act, I talk with the boys more. I get along with the boys more. They seem to like what I like more. I should be a boy. And that's not the case. I like being a chick. It's just, I'm a little bit more tomboyish. That's about it. And so you're pushing this idea on kids who are like me and would feel that way because of what someone else said or the way that other people make them feel. And that's just ridiculous. Children, also, uh, children <clears throat> also should not be making adult decisions. No. Now, I saw that woman on Jon Stewart, the mother, who said, well, my child told me that she always felt like she was a girl and blah, 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 blah. And the child was young. Yes. I wanted to be a wolf when <laughs> I was that age. Could you imagine if that was allowed? No. <laughs> I also wanted a penis because I thought it would be easier when I was a child. I think it'd be easier a lot of the time, too, but, you know. N I would have been a fucking trans man. I would have fucked. And yet, you think I, I would have been like dead? Here's my biggest my, my, issue. My depression, j just normally. Mm -hmm. could, fuck. Could you imagine how much that would have fucked me up in mm -hmm. my head with those fucking medications and shit? Like, that's here's not good. here's my entire perspective on it, real quick. If you're Preach. not, if you're not s supposed to be sexually active in any way, shape, or form, if you are a minor, by all des descriptions of the word, then why are you changing any of your sexual attributes? Why are we allowing them to make that decision? Do you know what I mean? Also. To, to, to do something for something they shouldn't be doing? Why is this being allowed? I mean, I understand that some kids really do feel that way. Like, I do agree with people like Blair, who mm -hmm. really have felt that way since they were young. But you wait until you're a healthy age to do it out of a right mind? Because in five years, you may not feel that way because of the situation you're in. It's just ridiculous to me. When a child comes to their parent and says, I felt, a little boy comes to their parent and says, I felt like I've been a girl my whole life. Well, well what, is, what does that mean, Johnny? What is their answer? Because even as adults, most people can't understand their own gender identity, identity issues. Yeah. A child trying to grasp that, they're not grasping it. No. They think the children are thinking with adult brains. They're not. They're thinking with child brains. Mm -hmm. So their decision making is flawed. Extremely. Their brains aren't even fully developed. How can you be like, oh, you want to be a girl now, Johnny? Okay, let's be inclusive. Let's be woke. So we just realized that I was out of focus the whole video. Yay. 
And also it stopped recording. Died before the end. Yeah. Now I don't remember what the fuck I had said. Uh, you, we were talking about Johnny. Uh, yes. <laughs> Poor Johnny. His brain is not fully developed and neither is his parents. No. Not at all. Johnny doesn't even know what a vagina is. Johnny's never seen a vagina. But never. because he likes Barbies, his parents think. Oh, you must be a girl. Hmm. I would have been a boy. You would have been a boy. We would have been dead. Hmm. Committed suicide. I would have no titties right now. My titties, gone. Oh, that was the point I, I, I remember making now at the end. is um, If Johnny came to his parents 20, 30 years ago and said the same thing, do you think? And the same parents. He had the same parents. Mm -hmm. Do you think that they would be so accepting and guide this child into transitioning? No. No. Why not? Oh, well, I mean, it just wasn't a thing back then. You didn't You didn't do that. You, the, the whole idea of trying to change the body you're in like that just wasn't, wasn't even a thought. It's trendy. It's popular. And because of that, more parents are just listening to their child who's saying they're a different gender, mm. and being like, okay, guess you are. It's unfortunate, because those parents, they get more hype. More hype from the fact that they're embracing their kids being trans. And that's why I say, like, even 10 years ago, 15 years ago, when I had my experience with my very religious parents, they didn't lose necessarily their friend group. Their friend group judged me, but if they would have gotten rid of me, that would have been way worse than if they had a gay child or even maybe a transgender child. They wouldn't have affirmed me. They never affirmed me. They never once were like, yeah, you're gay. We accept you. However, if they would have kicked me out when I moved out, it was a big, big fucking deal. There's different levels. They'd rather be respected than disrespected. And for some reason now, back then it was like, kick them out. Now it's like, well, you got to accept them. They're your kid. If their child was completely shut out from society, you know, and never learned about LGBTQ, any of that shit, would the child still go to the parents and say, I am a girl, I'm transgender? Probably not. Why? Because children are easy to manipulate. What's the other word for it? Children are pliable. They're easily influenced. Easily influenced. So as an adult, how dumb of a fuck do you have to be to be easily influenced by a child. It's momentary desire. It's very momentary desires. And yes, maybe for a lot, like they'll wait, continue wait, to chase for it. for the parents or for the child? Because it seems for like the, the parents are getting something out of for it the too. Kid. Yeah, the, the parents are now, but even then, like just from the child's mindset, that is a momentary feeling. When I felt, when I heard that from that chick, mm -hmm. for a moment, I was like, man, if only I was a boy. I always have those moments where it's like, if I was a man, I'd be way more successful. If I was a man, I'd do this. If I was a man, I'd do that. Do I want to be a man? No. However, I see that men have different advantages. Women have different advantages. I can recognize that and recognize that's where that desire comes from. And I don't want to be a man. I'm very comfortable and very confident with the body I have. Not in the gross way. More like, I, I enjoy being a woman. It's those advantages that make people feel like they'd rather be in this situation or that situation it's not how it is no now you could just dress in different clothes and then you're you can say that you're a woman <clears throat> and just invade women's spaces see before our friend we met different times at different places and never knew we were friends with <laughs> yes yeah i met this person as a woman <laughs> i had a crush on her too and in college i was 21 and she was a female i had a crush on her I met this person when I was like 12, <laughs> also out of college, because my parents made me go to college with my sister when, when they didn't want to watch me. But uh, he, I thought, was a gay man, <laughs> but had fully transitioned, and to the extent where I never knew that it was a woman originally. I don't think, okay. I never knew they were originally born female because I just assumed it was a gay man. Well, the point I'm getting at is that this woman was engaged to a guy obviously no longer um and she started transitioning and she had to go through a lot she had to do at least a year of therapy i remember before she could even start transitioning she has a lot of hair loss issues right now I, yeah From, uh, well, he, it, he has it a makes lot of sense hair loss issues. um but now you don't even have to go through any of these steps in order to really make sure this is what you fucking want to do mm -hmm. because it's not just a willy-nilly whim thing. I mean, this changes your entire body chemistry. I mean, not your entire body chemistry. No, but you're changing a hormones. lot of it. 
You're putting hormones in your body. Yeah, which is also going to change your mental state. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, this is this is not like a willy-nilly thing. This ever, is a big thing. You ever heard people talk about uh, what girls are like when they start taking tea? Trans boys? Testosterone? They say it's like a grown, uh, it's like a grown woman acting like a teenage boy constantly. Oh. They are sweaty. They're growing hair. They're horny all the time, but they're also emotional. But they can't cry for some reason because the testosterone won't let them. So they're just angry. And that's like the first year or two on testosterone. That sounds like a nightmare. That's what I've heard. I don't know from firsthand experience. It's just what I heard. It does sound like a nightmare. It does not sound like a good time. I already went through my puberty. Thank you very much. It was no good. <laughs> yeah, and that's what uh, children have to look forward to. Mm-hmm. Shit that's even difficult for adults to handle. Mm-hmm. And they're just completely okay with their children going on these puberty blockers and all these medications and you've it's seen just psychotic you've seen the trans men who've had the the full surgeries and you've seen their arms right after no and no. the and the what is a woman we saw that they get so to co- create the penis oh they have to take it to they the, yeah. take it so like my entire tattoo here would be my dick <laughs> right they take all of this those and surgeries are not perfected. Anyone who, who gets those surgeries that... I haven't heard a person say that they were happy with it. I've heard... I mean, even with the women who have to get the... When they get when they get the vaginas, they have to have a, a dildo in their vagina hours a day. Yeah, constantly keeping it open. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like a gauge. That's why a lot of people don't get the full surgery. Yeah, I remember having a conversation with someone who was looking into that kind of thing. And they were talking with someone who had had the full procedure. I don't know them personally, but they were like, it is not really worth it. It's not that good. It's very uncomfortable. And I wouldn't recommend it unless you really, really have issues with that area. (laughs) You know, it's funny. Hmm. When I was in elementary school, I learned a really valuable lesson, which for some reason they don't learn nowadays, which is you have to learn to be happy with yourself Mm -hmm. and who you are and for some reason, that just went out the fucking window. And now if you're not happy with who you are, it's okay to change it. If you're not happy with who you are, you have you have some issues going on in here that you need help with. Mm-hmm. A, surgery and hormones aren't going to fucking change that. They are probably going to make it worse. You said you learned it in elementary school, yeah? Yeah. I learned that. Except who you are. I learned that. Be happy with who you are. I learned that when I was actually, like, realizing to myself that like hey i'm i'm gay and i can't keep forcing myself to not be like i can't keep pushing these feelings off because at that point i was like i'm changing myself and who i am and how i'm presenting myself to the world because of what (laughs) and these people are just completely embracing it it's terrible (laughs) listen when um i was outed as gay i didn't change how i dressed i didn't get tattoos i didn't look a certain way i didn't buzz my head actually i did that in seventh grade Mm -hmm. Tattoos and all? No, just the <laughs> just buzz the back of the head thing because my, my friend did it, and so so I did it. It wasn't a gay thing then. I didn't, mm. didn't, didn't know it was a fucking gay thing. She definitely wasn't fucking gay. Mm. But now it's like when people come out, especially the lesbians, fuck, this is, it's a plague. So when people come out now, not only are they, you're so brave. No, 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 you, you motherfucker, you ain't brave. You ain't fucking brave. No, 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 no. You, you are you are hailed as something wonderful and, and, and because you came out now. You you, know? That doesn't make you fucking brave. No, no, no. Okay, go back to like the 50s and come out then. That's brave because no one expected that. Nobody accepted that. No, 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 no. But nowadays, women are coming out, right? And they're, 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 they're dressing different and uh, d- fuck you. <laughs> they're getting tattoos. They're fucking with their hair. They're putting the fucking thing on top of the head like this. Like this like it bounces around. It drives me fucking nuts. Oh! <laughs> Why? Why when you wait? I'm lesbian. So your whole wardrobe has to change. What the fuck is going on with the world? <sighs> What's we'll the next time? the panting (laughs) he's like 